Welcome, Welcome home. Home. <laughs> There you go. Oh, this is for you. Thank you. All right, what's going on, everybody? My name is Ben Kensington, Realtor with EXP Realty, and today's a special day. I'm with my clients, first time home buyers. Just gave them the keys to their new house here in Maricopa, Arizona. Congratulations. And I just wanted to ask you guys how was the process working with me as a first time home buyer in this crazy market? <laughs> Ooh, it was a crazy market. Yeah. <laughs> but it was amazing. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't rewind any I wouldn't take back anything. I've learned so much. I I, I would I would refer everyone that I know that's buying a home to Ben. He was amazing, amazing. He was in New York. Oh, yes. All the way from New York. <laughs> making trips, coming back and forth. So. Yep. It was nice. Five months from today, I'll call you. And look, you got us in the house right now. Yeah. yeah that was bad. That was a nice, quick process. Mm -hmm. You helped me out with the. Um, What's that? What? Sophia. The Linda. The Linda. She was amazing. Into the house. I'll call you first, then you refer me to Sophia. Got me a nice, beautiful house in Maricopa. Yeah, Thanks definitely. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Willard, yeah, Willard reached out to me. He saw me on Big Super uh, <laughs> YouTube channel. So, what's up, Big Super? Shout out. <laughs> uh, Willard called me and Sophia Miller from Geneva Financial. Thank you very much. She did an amazing job from start to finish. She's an amazing lender. I'll put her information in the uh, description box as well. And just wanted to congratulate them from all the way from New York, being in Arizona, first time home buyers. As you can see behind us, this is a massive, beautiful property and it's all theirs. Thank you guys as well for giving me Thank the you. opportunity to work with you guys. Thank you so much. It was fun and to your family and your kids and everything. Mm -hmm. So definitely thank you guys. We'll see you guys on the next one. <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning into my channel. This is Ben Kensington, your favorite Arizona realtor with EXP Realty. Smash up that like button, hit the subscribe button, and definitely hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I drop a new video. Okay, so let's get right into it. You saw the testimonial with my clients, Arvina and Willard. They just closed on this beautiful property here in Maricopa, Arizona. It's a four bed two and a half bath 1873 square foot property two it had a two-car garage it's a two-story built in 2006 lot size about 4949 square feet okay this house was completely remodeled fresh paint on the outside and the interior and it's beautiful okay and we were in a hot market when you saw all the news headlines all the press clippings all the ads about how crazy the market was and yes indeed it was crazy but we still prevailed okay and Irvine and Willard reached out to me around the beginning of spring and we worked with them me and my preferred lender Sophia Miller you saw in the beginning I uh, put her information there if you are looking to get pre-qualified she got them pre-qualified um, they were strong strong buyers they were ready they were prepared kind of coach them along the way we did a lot of zoom meetings really uh educated them on the market and real estate in the state of arizona okay so you're gonna hear a lot of things about oh arizona is overpriced and it's the end of the world you can never afford to arizona ever again and the market's gonna crash and all of this misinformation out there from mostly youtubers who are not licensed they're not real estate professionals um, you're not hearing this from lenders there are plenty of opportunities to buy a house in Arizona. It just depends on where you're at, okay? If you got Scottsdale money, Paradise Valley money, uh, Arcadia money, so be it. 
Gilbert is even starting to go up in price. Queen Creek is going up in price. There's still places where you can buy homes that are still affordable. OK, I'm not saying this is Mississippi affordable or Arkansas affordable. I mean, I think I can clearly say that the days of homes being two hundred thousand dollars in the Phoenix metro area are over. OK, you're going to see you could still find homes in the mid threes. You can still find homes in the fours, the mid fours to the fives. OK, you just need to work with someone who actually does this for a living, a real estate professional, a real estate agent who knows the market. OK, <laughs> if you're listening to some random YouTuber who doesn't do it for a living and is just making videos for clicks and views because that topic is trending, they're just going to steer you in the wrong direction. OK, it never hurts to ask. Ask your local real estate agent, get a consultation, ask me, heck, if you, if you have a question about real estate, if you want to know an area where you can buy a home that's affordably priced, reach out to me at any time. But anyway, I want to get back to Irvina and Willard. Awesome couple, beautiful family, three beautiful kids. They have now got their home. I love it. They can now build equity. Their kids can carry it on for the for especially for them the next generation this was amazing i'm glad i was able to help them throughout the home buying process they're first time home buyers okay this market was tough okay this house sold for three hundred and seventy five thousand dollars completely remodeled home i became really close with the contractor we got this house under contract as soon as it hit the market the day of i was on it okay there's a way that i negotiate there's a way that I work with other agents throughout Maricopa and Pinal County, even down to Pima County, because uh, I'm licensed in both Tucson and Phoenix. So I built a good rapport. I'm really good with writing clean contracts. I'm really good with working with contingencies within the contract. OK, there's a way you can get stuff done as a real estate agent people say oh we'll never find a house we'll never move to arizona <laughs> just fear mongering misinformation a lot of ignorant statements i'm seeing out there it can be done people okay so don't panic you just need to write, work with the right person and just ask questions to the real estate professionals okay um i know you see news clippings the market's gonna crash this and that yada 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 they've been saying that for the last seven years now and we still haven't seen anything we've just been seeing this area appreciate because it comes down to supply and demand all right so they'll say oh it's the market slowing down slowing down because the stimulus money is out tax season <laughs> tax return season is is already done for the year everybody is is done with summertime people are going back home settling in going back to work going back to school and this is usually the fall time for a lot of the holidays relaxation this is typically and always has been a slow time for real estate which is in the fall everything heats up quarter one quarter two okay so it, it's your your typical cycle you're going to have more listings pop up you're seeing price reductions because homes are going to stay on the market a little more as the buyers wait for probably first quarter next year all right but anyway you guys, thanks for joining my channel. Once again, congratulations to Irvina and Willard. Congratulations to all parties involved. This was a great experience. You guys stay tuned to my next video and I'll see you guys soon. I'm out.